This is Aaron Sheik wishing you Merry Christmas. This is TNA superstar Jay Lethal, and I'm wishing you a woo woo woo, a Merry, a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, wrestling fans. Welcome to MWF Christmas Clash 2010. What a big time tag match we have. That man to your right, Tommaso Champer and Slick Wagner Brown face Brian Fury and Scott Reed. If anyone other than Slick Wagner Brown scores the pinfall, including Tommaso Champa, they will face Slick on the January MWF Ultra, just days before Road to the Gold, January 8th in Melrose. Zoom in nice and close, because you're looking at the heavyweight champion. Tonight's feature match is myself and my tag team partner, Tommaso Ciampa, against Scott Reed and Brian Fury. John Cena Sr., I said it once, I say it twice, and I'll say it again. You think you're smarter than the Uprising? You think you're smarter than JBL? You think you're smarter than me? I don't think so. Tonight, you want our match. Whoever scores a pin or submission gets a title match against me? Have you lost your mind? Tommaso Champion and myself are partners. We are the Uprising. There is no way Tommaso will pin me to get a title match. You got another thing coming. So Scott Reed, Brian Fury, you two guys are in for a long night. MWF fans, listen closely. It's about time that we legally get our hands on JBL's uprising. Those cheaters, they're no good backstabbers. But this time it's gonna be legal, you see, I have the television champion, Brian Fury, in my corner, taking on JBL's uprising in a tag team match. Wrestling fans, Merry Christmas as we continue here with Christmas Clash in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. One half of the tag team you're going to see tonight in action, the MWF TV champion, Straight Edge Brian Fury. In just a little bit, he'll be teaming with Scott Reed to take on John Bradshaw Layfield's uprising members, Tommaso Ciampa, and the MWF heavyweight champion, Slick Wagner Brown. President Cena has thrown a curveball. Whoever gets the pinfall in this match will face Slick Wagner Brown on the January MWF Ultra, which leads into Road to the Gold January the 8th. Now, that leads to many possibilities. It could be you, the TV champion, challenging the heavyweight champion. It could be Scott Reed challenging the heavyweight champion. It could be Slick Wagner Brown earning the night off if he's able to defeat you or Reed tonight. Or it could even mean... Tommaso Ciampa facing his fellow Uprising member Slick Wagner Brown. Many different possibilities tonight. Very so. Very so. The thing is, I plan on winning the match. I plan on getting a rematch against Slick Wagner Brown for the MWF Heavyweight Championship. I'm already the television champion, but that's not enough. I'm never satisfied. Slick Wagner Brown, I got my eyes on you. And Tommaso Ciampa, I don't think I've forgotten about everything that's happened with us in the past, pal. I got my eyes on you as well. And Scott, I know we're in the same team, but I'm sorry, pal. I'm getting the pin. That's what I was just going to address. You two, you and Scott Reed, good friends, teammates tonight here in the MWF. However, you both want the same thing. 15 pounds of gold that have been in the possession of John Bradshaw Layfield's uprising since June of 2009. If it comes down to it, what are you going to do to prevent Scott Reed from winning? There's nothing I can really do to prevent him from winning, so to say. I'm not going to, like, hit him or anything. You know, I'm, I like the kid. He's a good guy. But um, I'll make sure when the time comes, I'm the legal man in the ring, and I'm the man that gets the pinfall. All right, Brian Fury, any Christmas messages for the great MWF fans at home? I love the holiday season. Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a happy new year.
Unbelievable. Wrestling fans will be back after this brief timeout. The action and excitement of the MWF returns to Memorial Hall in Melrose Saturday, January 8th with a live wrestling event and autograph photo fan fest. You'll see WWE U.S. Champion Daniel Bryan, manager of WWE World Champion Kane Paul Bearer, TNA superstars Jay Lethal, The Monster Abyss, Awesome Kong, Homicide, The Original Doink the Clown, John Cena Sr., JBL's Upright and more. Visit bostonwrestling.com. Well, first of all, I would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, really. Merry Christmas. That was a hell of a Merry Christmas. What a tag team. Wait a minute. Right off the bat, MWF TV champion Straight Edge Brian Fury going right after Million Dollar Investment Tommaso Ciampa. Scott Reed going after the heavyweight champion Slip Wagner Brown. Mayhem everywhere you look. Reed and Champer on the floor. Fury and Slick in the ring. Forearm boots to the midsection. Fury sets up Slick Wagner Brown into the post with authority. Big time right. Knocks down the heavyweight champion with the first blow. Wrestling fans, what a Christmas. Big time tag team matchup with huge, huge ramifications for the January Ultra. Who will face Slick Wagner Brown, if anyone, just days before Road to the Gold? We've already heard from the Iron Sheik, Black Machismo Jay Lethal, Doink the Clown Matt Bourne. This is a wild holiday. Slick Wagner Brown headed to the back. Fury going to get him. Now Reed and Champa come in the ring. Scott Reed scored a big victory over Tommaso Champa. I believe it was on the May MWF Ultra. Reed off the ropes. Oh, went for the knee to the face. Champa gets out of the way. Champa was the only man in this matchup we did not hear from earlier. Is he too focused on Daniel Bryan January 8th in their submission match at Road to the Gold in Melrose? Now, wait a minute. Where did Champa and Reed go? The action is hot and heavy in this one. The MWF TV champion, Straight Edge, Brian Fury, and Scott Reed can't keep their hands off of these two sleaze bags. Before the night is over, fans were going to announce a major return at Road to the Gold January the 8th. Oh, wait a minute, here come Fury and Brown, the MWF heavyweight champion, the MWF TV champion. You gotta love it. Big boot to the midsection from Brian Fury. Right to the face. Brian Fury throws Brown out of the ring. Referee Tony Jordan, full of holiday cheer. He's really not, or I should say, letting the rule book get in the way of these four athletes. Fury and Brown go into town outside the ring. No pun intended. Brian Fury with those jabs. Look well, at Slick Wagner Brown posing for the camera. What a clown. Wait, this Tommaso Ciampa. Also understand we're going to hear from stalker Dylan Cage, about the last person on the planet I would want to hear from. Oh, wait a minute. Brown kicks the ropes right into the midsection, or I should say maybe the thigh of Scott Reed. Champer and Brian Fury outside the ring. Their long-running vendetta continues. And look at that knee to the midsection from Slick Wagner Brown. He didn't miss that time if the ropes missed the mark the first go around. What a tag team collision. What a Christmas. Is only the Millennium Wrestling Federation and President Cena can put together. Look at Champa, big time kick. Down goes Reed, goes for the pinfall attempt. Just a one and a half count right there. Brian Fury needs to get in his corner. I mean, you'd have to think there's some semblance of a count out or disqualification. Athletes everywhere. If Tommaso Ciampa could pin Scott Reed right here, he'd earn himself an MWF Heavyweight Championship match against Slick Wagner Brown on the January Ultra. The plot thickens. President Cena does it again. Slick Wagner Brown goes to work here, an abdominal stretch on Scott Reed. That's been a submission hold for dozens if not more years. And look at Tommaso Ciampa holding on and helping Slick with dear life. He could be passing up a championship opportunity. Oh, and look at Slick doing his hair. Give me a break. 
Look, Wagner Brown pounding away in the midsection of Scott Reed. Brown again looking for a little assistance. Tommaso Ciampa's hand. Wait a minute. I'm not there that time. Reed trying to fight out of it with all his might. Hip toss. Down goes the champion. And look at that double stomp. He tags in Fury. Did he? Yes, tag the Fury. Reed holds Brown down. And now the TV champion has a chance to earn a heavyweight championship matchup. Oh, wait a minute. Knee from Tommaso Ciampa as he flies off the ropes. Slick Wagner Brown plants his boot in the same spot, and he tags in the million dollar investment. JBL's uprising goes to town, up and down. Goes Brian Fury, pinfall attempt. Slick Wagner Brown doesn't even try to break it up. And look at him posing, mocking straight edge Brian Fury. Well, Tommaso Champer is a lot of things right now. Look at that. Unique pinfall attempt. Fury kicks out at two. What are we going to see right here? Champa tries to position Fury into the ropes. Forearm to the face. Oh, wait a minute. Fury's tied up in the ropes. Going nowhere fast. Jordan in there to administer a five count. That could be grounds for disqualification. And look at Slick Wagner Brown pound away on the MWF television champion. Quick tags from JBL's uprising. Slick Wagner Brown in a no-win position, but right now that's what Brian Fury looks like. Double axe handle across the back. Oh, look at that. Wipes the sweat off his brow onto Scott Reed. Reed's a little bit PO'd. Look at Brown continue to put the boots. Champa putting the boots. The final matchup of 2010 here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Oh, wait a minute. Forearm smash from Champa. We kicked it off in January on MWF Ultra with the Monster Abyss from TNA. Scott Reed squared off and defeated Hurricane John Walters. And it only got bigger and better from their fans. And what a climax. Christmas night. We had a big ultra this month with Tommaso Ciampa defeating John Walters. Jay Freddy making his debut to end 2010 with the defeat and a big time win over Julian Starr. We saw Doink the Clown Matt Bourne victorious on the John Cena Senior Show with his feud with Todd Hansen heat up. On the Superstar Zone, it was a feature on Tommaso Ciampa. As Brian Fury goes down again, the advantage remains with Slick Wagner Brown and Tommaso Ciampa. You have to think. As John Layfield enjoys a Christmas dinner that probably cost well into the six-figure range that he's loving every minute of this right now. Forearm smash again to Reed, and there's only so much he's gonna take. Going at it with Jordan, and oh, look at that. Those baby slaps that Slick Wagner Brown is known for that infuriated Homicide. That's why on January 8th, Slick Wagner Brown will face Homicide inside a 15-foot high steel cage. One of four steel cage matches at Road to the Gold Ridge in the cage. Smart wrestling right there from Slick Wagner Brown, trying to cut off that oxygen supply. Holds on to Fury's left arm. Fury is basically defenseless in this position. And look at Brown trying to use every pound in his body to, to ensure that Brian Fury can't breathe. I don't know what kind of a man that makes him, but again, at times it makes him a very, very intelligent, dangerous professional wrestler. Oh, wait a minute, what's Champa doing? Well, that's a position Jay Buster might like to be in. But that's a different story for a different time. It's Christmas after all. Look at Champa go to town on Fury. Again, trying to cut off that oxygen supply. Brian Fury's throat is gonna look like he was hung by the time this match is over. Snapmare over from Champer in again. 
trying to put the lights out on the TV champion. Fury scrambling to his feet, trying to power out of it. Off the ropes he goes, checks the clothesline, big time! Elbow smashed from Fury. Now he just needs to make the tag. You'd have to think right now that diehard Eddie Edwards, who will be challenging Brian Fury for the TV championship at Road to the Gold, is watching anxiously. Fury slowly crawling to the corner. And wait a minute, this Slick Wagner Brown pulls Scott Reed off the apron. There's no one for Fury to tag. He's in no man's land. Big time clothesline from the million dollar investment. Goes for the pin, two, two and a half. Fury barely able to get the shoulder up. Another quick tag to Slick Wagner Brown. Brown with a couple of forearm smashes to the face, sets up Fury again. Big knee, wait a minute. Fury holds on to the leg, hooks him up for the pin. He almost earned himself a title match, but what a beautiful standing drop kick and a nip up from the underground king. That's why he's the million, million, Millennium Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion. But wait a minute, Fury, out of nowhere, gets the tag, drop kick off the top rope from Reed, sets up Champa in the corner. Now he sets up Brown, drop kicks Champa, drop kicks Brown. What are we gonna see here? Big time right from Scott Reed, make it two, make it three, keep them coming. Reed sets up Brown again off the post. Up, over goes the champion. Off the ropes goes Scotty Reed. Oh, wait a minute, taking his time. Pose, elbow. Goes for the pin, delayed right there. Is that enough? No, Slick Wagner Brown kicks out just after the two count. He should not have delayed that pinfall attempt. He could come back to regret that one. Tommaso Champer on wobbly legs on the ring apron. What are we gonna see right here? Gonna go for the suplex. Brown trying to block it. Brown blocks it a second time. And a reversal. Beautiful drop kick from the Millennium Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion. He's gonna go for the pin himself right here. One, two. Scott Reed gets the right shoulder up just after the two count. What a tag team match. What a Christmas and there's still so much more to come. Brown holds Champa, moves! Oh, wait a minute! Brown gets elbowed from Champa. Reed hurls him out of the ring. Champa's the legal man, though. And he throws Brown out of the ring. Well, even Steven. Reed picks up Champa, throws him in the ring. If Scott Reed can pin Champa here, he earns a championship shot on the January Ultra. Goes for a suplex, makes him think about it. Almost a jackhammer type maneuver. And wait a minute, Slick did try to break that one up. For the team or for himself? Molto interessante. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Roll up from Champ, and that could be it. No, Scott Reed kicks out. Champ tags in Brown. What are we gonna see here? Brown goes to the middle ropes. Taking a sweet time. Oh, wait a minute. He elbows Scott Reed. Ah, Champer, I should say. Tries to slam Reed. Reed a reversal. Roll of the dice. Brown is out of it. Could this be it? One, two. Make it three. Unbelievable. Scott Reed will face Slick Wagner Brown on the January MWF Ultra. Just days before Road to the Gold. That man right there, Brian Fury, will face Eddie Edwards, January 8th at Road to the Gold. Slick Wagner Brown will face Homicide in a steel cage at Road to the Gold. But will he be the heavyweight champion? The other man laying in the ring, Tommaso Ciampa, will face WWE US champion Daniel Bryan in a submission match at Road to the Gold. We still have another announcement of who else is returning January 8th. And we're going to hear from the stalker. Right there, baby. Hi, this is Mick Foley, wishing a Merry Christmas to you, MWF.
The action and excitement of the MWF returns to Memorial Hall in Melrose Saturday, January 8th with a live wrestling event and autograph photo fan fest. You'll see WWE U.S. Champion Daniel Bryan, manager of WWE World Champion Kane Paul Bearer, TNA Superstars Jay Lethal, The Monster Abyss, Awesome Kong, Homicide, The Original Doink the Clown, John Cena Sr., JBL's Uprising and more. Visit BostonWrestling.com. I'll be home for Christmas. I might be at your house. There's no telling whose house I'm going to be at, but I'm going to be at somebody's house for Christmas, and you better watch close. The NWF. I keep my finger on the pulse of professional wrestling, and right now, the NWF is beating faster than anybody. Oh, yes. You know, the Christmas holidays are for family. It's for caring, it's for sharing, it's for gift giving. Dan Marotti, I have realized that as much as I've taken from you, that you have given me the best gift of all, Linda. Ooh, Linda. The name off your lips. Sounds so good. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> you see, I love cozying up on your couch in your big house. And finally making our way to that big comfy bed. And Marati, I've realized that it's mine. Oh, mine. But don't think that I keep all my love just for her. You see, I read the little one a book last night. And you know, after I was done, I realized how much I really hate you. Because as I looked in his eyes, and I said, does, does your stepdad, does Dan read to you? As he looked at me and said, Uncle Cage, who's Dan? <laughs> they don't remember you. They don't care about you. I've taken your family. Next, me and my Uncle Paul A. We're gonna take the company you founded and we're gonna take it from this shithole Boston. And we're moving to some sunny weather. North Carolina sounds pretty damn good. That's just the start, Marathi, of the gift the present that we have for you. But unlike most things, you will not enjoy it as us. The action and excitement of the MWF returns to Memorial Hall in Melrose Saturday, January 8th with a live wrestling event and autograph photo fan fest. You'll see WWE U.S. Champion Daniel Bryan, manager of WWE World Champion Kane Paul Bearer, TNA Superstars Jay Lethal, The Monster Abyss, Awesome Kong, Homicide, The Original Doink the Clown, John Cena Sr., JBL's Uprising and more. Visit BostonWrestling.com. Silent night, holy night, all is come, all is bright. <laughs>
<laughs> Merry Christmas to all. And when the night comes, you all shall crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks ago, the million dollar investment Tommaso Ciampa of JBL's Uprising called out WWE US champion Daniel Bryan to square off one on one at Road to the Gold January 8th at Memorial Hall in Melrose, Massachusetts. President Cena agreed only with one stipulation, that it would be a submissions match. I feel like JBL's plan is really starting to unfold lately. He's the one who told me to issue the challenge to Daniel Bryan. And Cena Sr., you're trying to throw a wrench in our plans by making this a submission match. January 8th, Road to the Gold, and Melrose Mass. It's going to be Daniel Bryan in one corner, Tommaso Ciampa in the other. It's going to be the LaBelle Lock versus Project Ciampa. Well, Daniel Bryan, I have a favor to ask of you. January 8th, I don't want the PG rated superstar. January 8th, I want the best in the world. Daniel Bryan, I want you to try to kick my head in. I want the guy that all the internet fans have been talking about for years. I want the guy who took independent wrestling and put it back on the map. My whole life, I've never been known to back down from challenges. My whole life, I've never been known to say I quit. So Daniel Bryan, at Road to the Gold, Project Champa looks to make a statement. And that following Monday, on Monday Night Raw, I plan to walk out that curtain holding the WWE US Championship. Project Champa says kill or be killed. And Daniel Bryan, come January 8th at Road to the Gold, you're gonna tap the F out. The action and excitement of the MWF returns to Memorial Hall in Melrose Saturday, January 8th with a live wrestling event and autograph photo fan fest. You'll see WWE US Champion Daniel Bryan, manager of WWE World Champion Kane Paul Bearer, TNA superstars Jay Lethal, The Monster Abyss, Awesome Kong, Homicide, The Original Doink the Clown, John Cena Sr., JBL's Uprising and more. Visit BostonWrestling.com. First of all, fans, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you for tuning in to Christmas Clash 2010. This was one of the more unique programs in the history of the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Uh, the tag team match was outstanding. Scott Reed will face Slick Wagner Brown on the January altar as we lead to the road to the gold. Rage in the Cage, live event and fan fest January 8th. Um, President Cena and I, we don't get along on much. But one thing we had in common is our dislike of Dylan Cage, and we expected him to have some kind of a Christmas greeting, as he did, um, which you probably saw a little while ago. And President Cena said, what kind of a holiday gift can we give Dylan Cage? I'd love to tear Dylan Cage's throat out. I'd love to rip his heart out. I'd love to pull his white eyes out, or whatever color eyes he has in this day of the week. He wants to put down Boston and praise North Carolina, that's fine. But you know, the one gift that President Cena really kinda had to really go shopping for to dig up and wrap up in a nice bow and a big box was someone that Dylan Cage went after and made life awfully difficult for back when he was the unknown stalker. And we're not talking about 
hitting Commissioner Von Johnson in the head when he was waiting for a lady of the night or causing Ron Robinson to have a stroke. Talking about the man that he faced in the main event of Soul Survivor 3. And if you're not familiar with that, fans, that gentleman would be a man that Dylan Cage put out of commission in the MWF, Demon Lewis Ortiz. Merry Christmas, Dylan.